Today we're going to be discussing uh, Everyday Math Lesson 3.3, exploring uh, angle measure for fifth grade. And a uh, couple things that we're going to go over to start with. And first is a couple symbols. So whenever you see this symbol, means angle B. So if we had a square, each vertex would have a, have a label. So angle B would be from A to B to C. A another way that you might see that written is angle ABC. And when they have three, the one in the middle is always the vertex. So A, B, C. Uh, they'll also have that with angles so it can work the same way so angle B would be this angle in this polygon in the square and in this angle it would be ABC with B being the vertex the point where these two lines um, intersect. Another symbol that you'll see um, on the study link for sure is that one, or you could also see so in this one, this symbol still means angle. The M just means the measure. So if it's M, a, angle B, measure of angle B, they, would, they want to know what the measure of the angle is, the degrees of the angle of that, of that angle. So on the um, study link, they're going to ask you to figure out, to determine what some of the angles are. And... In class, we have talked about uh, the different measures of the angles of the different polygons. And one of the things that, has, that can help is knowing the, um, the angle of a straight line and also the angle, the um, the measurement of a circle. So a straight line is 180 degrees and a circle is 360 degrees. So I'm going to bring out some polygons, some shapes, and the first one that I'm going to bring out are some squares. So if I put those two squares together and I think about this as being a straight line, the measure of these two angles has to equal 180 degrees because um, a straight line is 180 degrees. So to figure that out, I could think in my head 180 degrees divided by 2, and they're both the same because it's um, 2 squares, would be 90 degrees. So our, our, this, knowing the straight line, knowing that that's 180 degrees, can help us figure out that the measure of that angle is uh, 90 degrees. Now, if we use some different polygons, and this time I'm going to bring out some triangles. And I'm going to rotate this one. 
not going to quite match them up, touch them perfectly, just so we can see the space between them. But these are equilateral triangles, meaning all the sides are the same length and all the angles are congruent, are the same, um, have the same um, measure of degrees, the same angle. So again, if I come back here and I put in my straight line, all of these angles this one this one this one they're all the same there's three of them for 180 degrees so i can think 180 degrees divided by 3 equals 60 degrees so the measure of of this angle is 60 degrees. So that's an example for a straight line. Another way of thinking about it is um, using a circle. So if I take a square take I'll just I'll just stick with the squares for this one so I've got four squares and coming back up here we talked about a circle equaling 360 degrees so if I draw a circle around um, those four vertices those four corners of the um, squares, all of those angles together should equal 360 degrees. In the straight line, we'd already determined that um, these two angles were 90. So we, we do know that this is 90 degrees. But just as an example with the circle, we know that each of those angles have the same, they're the same, it's a square. So all the angles are congruent they have the same measure of the angle, which is 90 degrees. But if we didn't know that, um, if we didn't know that a square had 90 degree angles, we could use our circle to help determine, okay, a, a circle is 360 degrees. We have four angles that are all exactly the same. So we could divide that by, not 60, we could divide that by not, not four either, my mistake or not 90. We need to divide it by 4 because there's four angles that are the same. So 360 divided by 4 is 90. So that can help us determine that um, the, the measure of the angles of a polygon by drawing a circle around it. You can always use a, a straight line or a circle. Now, other strategies that you can use. Oops, I gotta erase that one up there. So we've got a rhombus. We could um, bring some other ones out and draw lines or use a circle. Or another thing that we could do is use a different polygon, a different shape that we already know of, and try and match it up. So I'm going to use my equilateral triangle, and that covers that covers one half of the rhombus, and I can bring out another one, and that one. covers the other half of the rhombus. I'll just leave a little space in there. It's not quite perfect, but um, it will work. 
So for this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take these away for now. So that equals my rhombus, and we know that the measure of the angle in equilateral triangles is 60 degrees. So if this is 60 degrees, and this this angle and that angle are congruent, they're the same, then that would also equal 60 degrees. Now, how are we going to figure out the measure of these two angles? Well, we can come up and we can look at this angle and this angle and this angle and this angle. We know that those are 60 degrees. If this angle is equivalent, equal, congruent to these two angles put together, then this angle would be 60 plus 60 60 degrees plus 60 degrees, which equals 120 degrees. So we can use other polygons to figure out a measure of angle by covering them up. So we can use what we know based on other polygons to, to cover them up to, f to figure out the measure of the angle. We can use the strategy for 180 degrees. Um, for our angle using a straight line, or we could use our strategy for 360 degrees for the straight line. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure that you um, make sure that you ask Mr. Brandt. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff coming up here with our our geometry unit, and this just gets us kicked off. So have a good day.